What's up, Queen Gamers? What's going on? How y'all doing? I'm at Dialysis. For the very first time, you guys get to see me at Dialysis. As y'all know, I have kidney failure. And I'm here just giving y'all a little Monday motivation. And yes, I work at a little country today. <laughs> but look what's going on, y'all. I'm on this machine getting my kidneys clean. The tubes is running, if y'all can see, down my arm. But anyway, y'all, before I get into this video, hit like, share, and subscribe. And you know what I'm saying? Check me out. Check me out. Watch my videos. We conversate. We eat. We do uh, food recipes. We do fun, fashion fun, and you know what I'm saying? All types of stuff that got to do with our lifestyle, though. But... I'm just here to have a short little conversation with y'all about motivation because it's Monday motivation. Regardless of what you got going on in your life, you know what I'm saying, especially when things seem like you're going through, you know, downs and also ups, ups and downs. Always stay motivated regardless, you know what I'm saying? Always go forward with your dreams, you know what I'm talking about? Always keep strong and don't let things that you go on in life that kind of sometimes make you feel down to, you know what I'm saying, bring you down. And and don't let life's challenges bring you down and make you feel some type of way to the point to where you can't bounce back. You know what I'm saying? Because life going to have these things. And this is what I'm dealing with right here. You know what I'm talking about? But it's not stopping me from achieving my goals and doing what I need to do. Or, yes, that skin though. Maybe she's born with it. Maybelline. <laughs> but anyway, I'm up here just under my little blankie. It's in my chair. Getting my blood clean, you know? And... There's times where I thought about, dang, you know, how I get to this point, why me? And um, I would sometimes would feel a little down about it. But I also had my life still, and I had to take my life and make the bright side of things. You know, I just had to follow my doctor's orders, eat better, and it forces me to do what I need to do for me. But thank God that Dallas is saying what it used to be and things ain't what it is, baby, because um, can't let it still do her thing. But I just have to be more cautious and careful what I'm doing. And also, at the same token, I'll be able to get on the kidney list. So I'll be getting new kidneys. So at this point, I just have to take care of what little uh, uses that I have out my kidneys and to continue to let the machine help me until I get me some new kidneys. And hopefully when I get new kidneys, it comes from a person that was kind, that was nice, and you know what I'm saying, that had a very good spirit. You know, I wanna, I wanna have a donor that was a cool, nice, caring person and stuff like that. But yeah, I just want y'all to stay motivated no matter what you got going on, cause it's gonna be hard. And whoever told you that life is easy, you know what I'm saying? Whoever told you that anything in life is easy is a damn lie. Because ain't nothing worth having in life is easy. Everything that you want in life, you have to work for. Anything in life is a trial and tribulations. And don't let people fool you like they don't have trials and tribulations because everybody got them. They just don't tell you. And they wear, it, they wear them well. You know what I'm talking about? Also... You know what I'm saying? I'm a COVID survivor. I had COVID last month in December, at the beginning of December, and I came through unscathed. And when they was talking about, oh, you was a person of color, you was uh, big, overweight, and had underlying conditions, it, it was out to get you. And true enough, it was out to get a lot of people. I ain't going to front. But I was one of the ones under those circumstances, and I came through. I never had to go to the hospital or none of that. You know what I'm saying? I had all the symptoms that you can imagine. 
except for being on a ventilator, but I was shortness of breath when I would walk back and forth, you know, from, you know, you know, to go to the bathroom or something, you know. So that was crazy. Just just going to the bathroom was crazy, out of breath, like I was done by the time I made it to the bathroom. But I thank God that I made it through. I still pressed and pushed, you know what I'm saying, because it all has to do with the mind. And I can't move my arm, though, because, you know, I don't know if y'all can see, but I can't really move it like that. You know what I'm saying? I just have to be real comfortable because I don't want to trip the machine off because of the, you know, needles that's in my arm and, and things like that. But I just thank God that, you know what I'm saying, I made it to a new year because I could have been just like, anybody else that did not make it through COVID because I'm on dialysis, underlying conditions, you know what I'm saying, a little heavyweight, you know what I'm saying, I'm a person of color, and that could have been me. And I just thank God, though, and I really, truly believe that he kept me because there's a lot that I have to offer, and he want me to be one of his, you know what I'm saying, angels, his living angels to others. So, just be motivated, baby. Stay down, baby. Stay down till you come up. Get your grind on. You know what I'm saying? Find something that you enjoy doing in life and, and make the best of it. You know what I'm saying? Love more, hate less. You know what I'm talking about? Find who you are. Find your self-worth, have high self-esteem for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Be willing to have an open mind, be willing to learn different things and step outside of your environment and your comfort zone. You know what I'm talking about? Open up your mind more, get around people that you normally don't be around. You know what I'm saying? Quit sitting around other people that is not elevated. You got to be able to move and elevate yourself, elevate your mind to a different height. And ways to do that is easy said and done, but ways to elevate and open up your mind is sometimes go on YouTube and just type in places in China, Africa, you know what I'm saying, different places that you, you're not accustomed to. You know what I'm talking about? Start opening up your mind to, to different types of cultures, different types of, you know what I'm saying, ways to save and money, uh, different financial situations. You got to open up your mind to a bigger and better things. So what I'm saying is research different things in life, research different people, Google these situations. You have to open up your own mind because ain't nobody going to reach down and open up your mind for you. We have to will, be willing to go outside your environment. If you're from the hood, you need to take a ride to the suburbs. If you're from the suburbs, you need to take a ride to where, to where the rich and wealthy is. You have to open up your mind into different things. Get off your side of town and go to a different side of town. If you can't travel, travel to, like I said again, to the wealthy areas. That will blow your mind and see how people is really living. Get around people that's, you know what I'm saying, financially set. Ask questions, pick their mind. That's how you open up your mind. When you, when you try to study the mind of a person's mind that's more elevated than yours. Period. You know what I'm talking about? That's how you start opening your mind when you start dealing with people who are more on the elevated situation than you. That have people that feel like they're in the elevated situation and don't want to tell you what they got going on because they really not that elevated. Because when a person is elevated, they wouldn't mind telling you how they got elevated, how they get elevated. You know what I'm saying? How they how they doing in life. People who really got bread, it's not worry about you doing better than them. So if you get around folks that you think that's doing better than you and they can't even tell you how to, you know what I'm saying, move up and, and do it, they're not really doing it. They're not really doing it. They, their mind is still as small as yours. 
be around people that want to see you win. Not around people who want to see you do good but not better than them. We we don't want to be around those people. Sometimes you got to cut them off. Feed them the long handle spoon. Period. So, for, for Monday Motivation, elevate your mind. Move outside your environment. Start being around people's places and things that's more elevated than you. And what mind telling you how to get to where you're going, where you're trying to go. Not nobody that's acting like they're better than you, but they're still haters. We don't want them small matter clowns around us. Don't care who they come in the shape and the form of. Because they, they know me. Okay, lady, be like baby by deuces. Because in, in order to keep moving in life and keep grinding and keep working, you got to really open up your mind. And stuff ain't going to come overnight. You don't expect it to come overnight. But when God see you moving and doing, he going to work with you sooner or later. Hold on to your blessing. Hold on to your vision. Hold on to your goal. Just keep planting seeds and watering them. And one day they'll be a fruit. So it's out, it's over, it's in, it's done. Monday motivation. Queen in the building. Hit like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on TikTok at Queen Game TV. Follow me on Instagram, my Queen Game official, baby. And it's done. Juices. Uh Uh-oh, y'all.